we're going to be touring this really unique Airbnb built right on this mountainside overlooking 300 feet of private river frontage and there's also a waterfall on this property. Let's go check it out. We are at the River Rock House today in Blue Ridge, Georgia. This Airbnb was constructed last year in 2023, and it was built right on this really steep hillside along the Tacoa River. If I mispronounced that, I'm sorry. But there's a lot here to offer. Very unique build. You can see there's lots of steps that lead up to the Airbnb, unless you park your car along the driveway on this side up top. But we'll get to all that here in a second. Coming up onto this place, it is very private. We are in the middle of the mountains here. Lots of wilderness to explore, and there's trailheads within walking distance to here. The road is a gravel road, very private. I didn't see a single car drive by the entire time I was here, and it goes right along the Tacoa River. Whenever you pull up on the property, you can either park down here on the left side that has a fire pit area. There is a picnic table, a fire pit down here, and this is all right along the river. You can even swim in the river if you want to. I contemplated swimming myself, but I decided not to. It was freezing cold, but very large river. I know there's tubing and kayaking in this area if you're into that, and it's just beautiful and peaceful peaceful being here. You don't get too many Airbnbs right along a river this size especially. It sounds amazing. So whenever you're done hanging out here, we can walk up to the Airbnb. It towers over the river. We're looking straight up at it and I'm sure the construction process was something else with this Airbnb. It looks awesome. We have to use the drone to get some shots of this Airbnb and it looks like a really quaint mountain retreat. So we can walk up these steps. There's a lot here. Or if you use the driveway over here, you can drive up all the way to up your Airbnb and you make it to your cabin. There is a lower deck option right before we walk inside down here. There's an outdoor seating area. It's nice because it's covered. It rained a lot when I was here and it was nice to not get rained on being under here and there's a TV to watch as well. And then a hot tub over here. You can't have an Airbnb without a hot tub. And a cool feature with this hot tub, out of the hundreds I have seen, I have not seen a lid that opens like this. The lid is split in half and you just open each half independently. The easiest lid I have ever opened at a hot tub. I like this a lot. So cool feature there and we can walk back up the steps and into the front door and check out the interior. Walking inside, it is open and bright in here. I love the windows all around. They give you great natural light and views of the river and of the hillside around you. The first thing we walk into is your kitchen and living room area. This kitchen on the right side has everything you really need. On the back wall, we have your oven right here, right in front of the window. I did some cooking when I was here for dinner and it was so easy. They had everything I needed. You know, a question I get all the time is, Levi, what do you eat on your Airbnb trips? Where do you go? Well, I go to the store and I get the world's largest can of tuna and I make this last my entire trip. And this is also where I get my shaving equipment, which leads me to the sponsor of today's video, Harry's. If you're looking for a brand new razor, I use Harry's everywhere I go, and they're available at a number of stores such as Walmart and Kroger. We're shopping at Walmart today, heading to the aisle. You can see here they have all the razors, they have the cartridges, they have shaving cream. This is truly my favorite shaving cream I've ever used. And I don't trust anybody else other than Harry's to maintain my brand new mustache. Check it out. Leave your comments down below. I know it's the lunar year of the dragon, but for me, it's the year of the mustache. Anyway, I picked up some of the razors, cartridges, and shaving cream, and I literally take this everywhere I go on my Airbnb trips. It is truly phenomenal. So next time you're at your local Walmart or Kroger or Target, be sure to check out Harry's. Anyway, back to today's video. One cool feature is that the microwave is built into this cabinet on the side, so it doesn't take up any space at all. I do like that. Floating shelves above, and then this left side has your refrigerator. They'll leave some drinks in here for you. On the other side, we have the island with your sink in the middle dishwasher on this side, and then there's a bar on the other side. Live edge wood countertop over here, it's kind of elevated above the kitchen island as well, with four bar seats on this side to face your kitchen, and it's just a really nice look. I like the blue they used for the cabinets on the island, fits well with the cabin aesthetic, and if we take a look across the kitchen, we can look into your living room. This living room is open, inviting, and it's cozy. There's a fireplace right up against this wall with your TV mounted above it, 
fireplace you can't go wrong being in a mountainside cabin having that going very cozy and then there's a huge couch over here and then a chair up against this wall i like sitting here drinking my morning coffee overall a very spacious living room the spiral staircase right here leads up to your loft we'll get to that in a second right next to this living room though there's these huge sliding doors that lead out to your deck space we'll open those up and out here on the deck plenty of room to look out down to the river there's a picnic table on this right side a couple chairs on this left side and a grill out here lots of space even leave cornhole boards if you wanted to play cornhole up here and the deck actually wraps around all the way to this back side and if we walk back there more seating options and this is one of the coolest parts of the Airbnb there is a waterfall feature right outside the deck space here taking a look over here the rock side with the waterfall is so cool if you ask me really nice and fun feature to offer and then next to this is an outdoor shower and the shower is tucked right in all of these open face rocks the boards below are cut to conform to the rocks so a lot of planning went into this and having a property like this it might be a little tough to build an Airbnb but I think they did a really cool job with it incorporating the rock features and the water feature with the waterfall very very cool now we can walk back into the living room space there were other double doors here that lead out to the deck but let's walk back around to the front door area there's a couple doors here this first one is your bathroom space this is the only bathroom in this airbnb and when you walk inside they have the dark aesthetic in here with your toilet on this left side the tiled shower with the black tiling on this right side huge waterfall shower head above you it's like a foot in diameter and then your vanity over here with the wood countertop that matches your bar table uh, back in the kitchen and then a mirror that lights up so overall a nice bathroom walking out of that the next door is your washer and dryer very handy to have and then your main bedroom walking through here the king size bed in the middle with nightstands on both sides you have your own ac slash heating unit up above your bed for you and then this all faces your tv and fireplace there's also a fireplace in here if you don't want the heat on you can just turn on the lights and have the aesthetic of it or it does produce heat if you do like that. There is a closet in this bedroom. Open up the sliding barn door. You can store all your stuff in here. Now there are also doors that lead out to the deck from here. This just leads out to that shower area and this waterfall feature. So a really cool bedroom. Walking out of that, we'll walk to the spiral staircase now and to the last area of this Airbnb, the loft bedroom. Up here, very spacious as well. You can see I'm walking around. I can fully stand on this side, but once I get to this other side, I do have to crouch down. And there's a queen size bed up here. Another AC and heating unit up here for you to use. So overall, there are three AC slash heating units in this Airbnb and a fireplace. So you can definitely be comfortable uh, being in here. And then there are doors off of this that lead out to your third deck. This loft bedroom has its own private deck up here. A couple chairs out here, enjoy the views. So overall, there are three decks here. Very cool, if you ask me. And that is everything that you'd get whenever you stay here. Plenty of stuff to do around. We're a short drive to downtown Blue Ridge, Georgia. I can't ask for a cooler spot. I love being by the river and just having private access to all of that and a really comfortable uh, Airbnb. So if you want to book this place, booking link is down in the description below. Direct booking. The hosts were very, very kind uh, to me and I know they will be to you. So I highly suggest this place. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next week in another Airbnb tour.